It's Christmas season. It's time for oranges. Oh, Duh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekenders YouTube channel. Today we are in Bradenton, Florida, and today we're here at the Citrus Place. This is one of the original, like old timey type of general stores here where you can actually buy fresh squeezed Florida orange juice. So we're gonna go inside and we're gonna get some fresh squeezed orange juice and we're gonna find out what the Florida is going on around here. So let's go. All right guys, so we're here we're at the Citrus Place. Um, I, I think we're actually not in Bradenton, Florida. I think we're just north of Bradenton, Florida, but we're here, we're doing it, super excited. Um, we like orange juice, so much so that, oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're not in Brighton's in Florida. Can we try again? We're close. We're, we're technically in Terracilla. Okay. All right, we're gonna go see what's in the store. Let's go. It's <laughs> really all in orange juice. Yeah. Got some tomatoes? Is it tomato season? <laughs> I don't think it's tomato season, but it's definitely, um, citrus season, so. It's interesting, growing up up north, we always thought, you know, I, of uh, orange juice being like a summertime thing. Mm -hmm. Really, they, they ripen in the wintertime. Yeah. And uh, the early, uh, late fall, early winter. Uh, but as you get close, more into wintertime around December is when they start to get the most sweet. If you get the early season stuff, it's a little bit more sour. All right, so that orange juice is 975. Oh, because it's smaller. Duckerstein. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, so they've got... Um, like peeled for you as well. We've got orange juice. Then down here they have a strawberry orange juice. We're gonna try that too. They have some really other cute things here too. So if you're here for like a general store or you need like a shirt <laughs> or maybe something to, uh, you know, add to your coastal beach, you know, motif. All right, so they also have mini key lime pies, which if y'all know me, loving some key lime pie. They have some big ones too. And they also have some cinnamon rolls. Pretty cool. I wonder if those cinnamon rolls are just the Amish farmhouse cinnamon rolls just cut up. I think so. Yeah. Small cup with sprinkles. Thank right? you. I got that right. That's perfect. Thank yeah. you. Can we please have a large cone uh, swirl? Oh. Mm, that's what I got. And yeah. the little cones and the ice cream flavors. Oh, There's a little bit in the way. <laughs> and the So what size did you get, honey? It's a large. It's wow. huge. It's like a skyscraper. Oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, guys, we actually have the ice cream to go. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, all right, so we have orange lotion. We have orange yeah, gum. <laughs> and even orange <laughs> the foam. All right, so now we're outside. Did you did you try your ice cream yet? I, I took one bite of it. It's really good. You you didn't get your initial reaction. You have ice cream all on your mustache. It's kind of like a um, orange sherbet yeah. with um with the uh, the vanilla. It, it is good. I honestly I think I I should have got the the all orange. I think this is oh, the most really? popular. Oh okay. But I think I think I like the orange so much. Oh. I think it would have been better just all orange. What? You're saying that you like orange ice cream more than vanilla ice cream? Mr. Look, I, I only get vanilla ice no, cream? I love vanilla ice cream, obviously, but, you know. You it's... like your orange so much, it's actually in your mustache. There you go. All right, so right over there is where you buy your ice cream and snacks and everything. And over here <laughs> is a Lewis, but also a little place to sit down. And I think back there is their orange groves. So. Maybe we will come back and pick oranges sometimes. It sounds like fun. Oh yeah. Oh, so the only, I guess there is an orange grove here. You told me there wasn't. I didn't think there was, but yeah, this must be right where the oranges are coming from. So it doesn't get any more fresh than this. No. That is local, local. Local, local. That is backyard local. Mm -hmm. All right, so Christine's gonna give hers a shot. It reminds me of like the, the orange like dream pops that we had as kids. Yeah, it was an orange sherbet. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. Yeah, it was, it was 10 good. Worth the drive? Yeah. One of the things I find interesting about Florida is obviously there's a lot of citrus and other uh, fruits and stuff that they grow here, but it, almost all of it seems to come in season during the wintertime. So, um, you know, we, we're just now starting, so as far as I know, 
um, late fall, we're getting into citrus season, into like December, j early January, and then right after that we hit strawberry season, and then directly after that it's like blueberries and a few other things. While you guys are up, up north or freezing your butts off, we're down here, down here eating fresh oranges and fresh um, strawberries. Now when it comes February with strawberry season, it's all about that strawberry shortcake. I have to say this place is pretty cute too, the uh, little old lady that's running the, the cash register there. She was precious. She must be like 90, and she's still going. Precious. <laughs> lift, that, lift that whole gallon of orange juice all by herself. Super sweet. So I definitely appreciate that. Definitely gives it that more like hometown vibe. Yeah, the lady at the front desk of the key lime season in Florida is June and July. That's when you get your best key limes, I guess. Which is interesting because I thought key limes were citrus and I thought those only happened in the winter. But. Yeah, I don't know. We, we have a uh, key lime plant in our backyard. And we only get them in, in, the, in the fall. Yeah, well last year we harvested it in December, not knowing any better, but this year they did show up a little early. Yeah. So maybe maybe I should start harvesting those earlier. Yeah. Okay, good to know. Mm -hmm. One thing we didn't mention was how much all this costs. So we got the two ice creams, um, the gallon of fresh squeezed orange juice. That was like fifteen, thirteen dollars. Yeah. Two bags of cheese curds. Because why not? Yeah. We got two extra pints of orange juice because we're gonna be out today and we wanted to try try it here and now mm -hmm. without opening the full gallon. So we got two other pints. Uh, so we got strawberry orange juice and a regular, and a regular orange juice. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try those. So all this was uh, 38 and some change. Mm. So not the cheapest outing. You know, again, it's all super local. This is not from Concentrate. It literally came from right there. Right there. Which means transport costs should be like zilch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, I'm super excited about it. I do think it's interesting, <clears throat> sir, that you uh, got cheese curds. This goes to show you can uh, take the Midwest out the boy. <laughs> or wait, take the boy out of the Midwest, but not the Midwest out of the boy. Is that it? Midwest out of the man. Yeah. All right, so finally we're going to try our orange juice, our regular orange juice, and our strawberry orange juice. See how this is. So I'm giving it a couple good shakes already. Before you taste it, which one do you think is going to taste better? Probably the regular one. Which one do I think? I'm more excited about this one. Okay. But yeah, you pretty much know what you're getting with this. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is like super sweet. Yeah. And very like earthy. Oh. So it's unlike any other orange juice I've ever tried before. Mm. And it's got a little bit of pulp to it. Mm -hmm. Not much. Okay. Yeah, and kind of a little sour too. Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you like it? Yeah, I like it. It's definitely different though. Mm-hmm. Alright, so now we'll give the uh the other one here a shot, the strawberry one. I'm so proud of you for opening those and not spilling them. Yeah, they're filled with the brim. I know. Oh, that was really good. Yeah. So again, very sweet. Definitely got like you know the strawberry flavor, obviously, with mm -hmm. the orange juice. Honestly, I think I like it. I like this one better. What? Yeah, both are very good. Mm -hmm. Definitely more unique than like uh, Florida's natural or Tropicana. Yeah, Tropicana, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not from Concentrate. I mean, it literally is grown right there. Mm. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. One. A little, a little earthy, but not in a bad way. Not bad, but not, not as sweet as I would have hoped. You know? I thought it was pretty sweet. Yeah, I mean it's crisp, which is nice. Mm. Yeah, no, I like it. I, I, I would drink this. It's not as very acidic. You know, how, like some orange juice, like it, like burns, right. your, burns your mouth. It's not acidic at all. Yeah. Which is interesting too, because we found that about our lemons that we grow in our backyard mm -hmm. too. They're they're not very right. Yeah, we uh, made some lemonade. Well, we Lewis made lemonade, and it wasn't it was not acidic. They were sweet. Yeah. Just I guess Meyer lemons. Yeah, well, this one you get the strawberry on the back end, which isn't bad. But I don't taste the orange juice. I just taste strawberry. Okay. It's kind of like a strawberry smoothie. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not creamy, but. They're both, yeah, they're both, I could see mm -hmm. people being blended into a smoothie for sure. So which one do you like better? I like this one. The regular orange is just better. Okay. Works up with less. I get one, you get one. Yeah. All right, guys. So here's your pro tips for visiting the Citrus Place. Say number one is bring cash because they do have a $10 credit card limit. So if, you, if your order is less than $10, uh, you're going to have to pay cash. So bring some cash. And I'm sure that they appreciate it too. They're being a, being a small business. They probably prefer the cash over the credit cards anyways. Uh, pro tip number two is the large cones are really actually large. They're bigger than you think. 
Um, probably a small cone would have gone a long way, so that large cone was a lot. And the final pro tip is come in December because that's when the oranges are the sweetest. Come in early winter or late fall, uh, they're gonna be a little bit more sour. So best orange juice happens in the middle of December. So that's gonna do it for today. Remember to hit that subscribe button and that's what the Florida is happening right here. Let us know in the comments below, have you ever had fresh squeezed orange juice? What did you think about it? Where did you get it? We'd love to hear about it. And with that being said, we're out of here and we'll see you next weekend. All right, are we ready? No, I'm just standing here with the camera in your face for no reason. What did you say? About what? Key lime season. Oh. I thought blueberries happen in the fall. Nope, not here in Florida. One of the things I find interesting about Florida is um, obviously they grow a lot of citrus and, and other fruits and stuff down here. Are you right now? How do you not see the ice cream on your face, bro? Mm. I don't know. So we're going to go outside and check it out and get some orange juice. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. Uh, I feel like I say it's going to be a whole lot of fun all the time. I know. Sometimes it's not a whole lot of fun. But... All right.